last time we created a new item and now we're going to put it into our own custom creative tab. Creating a new custom creative tab or even multiple ones is actually really easy and doesn't involve that much code. For this, we're going to create a new class instead of our item package. And this is going to be the mod item group. And inside of it, we're going to create a new item group. Now, the way we would do this is we're gonna say public static final item group, making sure that this is net Minecraft item here and auto completing with the tab key. We're gonna call this the tutorial group. And this is equal to a new item group. And then once again, the suggestion already selects the correct class here. And we're going to autocomplete with tab. And then something like this will appear. Making sure that after the second to last curly bracket, we're going to have a semicolon in here. And inside of the item group itself, we're going to have to put in a string. This is going to be the tutorial mod tab. This is going to be the label. And as you can see, we have an overridden method inside of here. And here we're going to return new item stack mod items dot amethyst dot get right what is this so for people who have worked with java before and have a little bit more java knowledge then you will recognize this as an anonymous class the reasoning behind this is because item group is actually an abstract class so we actually have to have an implementation here and this is basically an implementation inside of another class and this would then be called an anonymous class the only real thing that interests us is the icon here so this is the icon that is going to be shown if you want a different item in here or a block and of course you can change this inside of the new item stack right here and the label here is also very important because we're gonna now also go into our lang folder inside of our en underscore us json and basically make it so if we hover over the tab that it actually displays something proper instead of our en underscore us json we're simply gonna hit enter a couple of times and then a comma will automatically appear the key here is going to be item group dot tutorial mod tab now, what's very important that this is written like this, so item and then the G in group is uppercase dot tutorial mod tab. We don't actually need to put our mod ID in here. Tutorial mod tab was what we have defined here inside of the label for the item group. And then colon, and then we're just going to call this the tutorial mod. So if we hover over the tab, then it should display tutorial mod. To have our item appear in there, instead of actually choosing the item group materials here, we're going to say mod item group dot tutorial group. Saving this, and then that's already it. So let's see how it looks in game. All right, we once again find ourselves in game, and let's see. So we can already see that we have a second page up here. So if we navigate to that page, we can see that, first of all, hovering over it so it shows us tutorial mode, just what we have put in. And if I click on it, then you can see the amethyst is now inside of it. So we have tutorial mode, our custom creative tab, and we have our item in here. So all subsequent items that we're going to create, items or blocks, we can basically put in a mod item group, tutorial group, and this will then group them together in that creative tab. Right, and that was already it for this video right here. I hope you found this useful. If there are any questions remain, then of course, always feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this useful, then of course, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Otherwise, like always, the entire code as well as the, a GitHub repository and link to all the assets is all in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. So yeah.